This video will cover how to use Tinker's assessment tools for your class. After logging in, you can access the assessment tools from your dashboard by clicking on the class, then going under the Gradebook tab. Here, we can see the class's lesson progress. With the lessons along the top and the students listed down the left, it's very easy to use Tinker's assessment tools. In this lesson progress chart, a green check mark means the student has completed a lesson, a gray circle means the student has begun but not yet completed a lesson, and a red circle means the student has yet to start the lesson. Now, if I wanted to see who hasn't completed the animation and motion lesson, I just need to look at this column. The two students who haven't completed the lesson are Andy and Erica. To see more details about their progress, click on the circle. Here, we can see that Andy has only completed one of the three modules. If we go to quiz results, we can see who's doing well on the quizzes that appear at the end of each lesson. Blue numbers represent high scores, orange represents a low score, and a red circle means a student hasn't taken it yet. Looks like James has the highest quiz scores in the class. We can also see which quizzes students have the most difficulty with. The keyboard control and the character creator quizzes seem to have the lowest scores. This could mean a review session should be held about these specific topics. You can even see why a student did poorly by clicking on the score in the chart. It will show the specific questions your students got wrong. Lessons with lots of red circles in the column can mean that not enough time was given to the students to complete their lesson. You may want to give extra time for your students to complete the lesson if a large portion of the class was not able to start their quiz. Now, let's check who's doing poorly in the class. The students with the most red circles and the lowest scores appear to be Andy and Rosa. Let's try and see why this is the case. On the Concepts Mastery chart, each student's understanding is shown. Orange means the concept is mastered, purple, advanced, blue, intermediate, and green, beginner. In Andy and Rosa's rows, there are far fewer mastery symbols than the rest of the class, and many of the cells are blank. If the cells are blank, that means the students haven't had the opportunity to learn the concepts. If, for example, I want to see who's struggling on a concept that the entire class has mastered, I can do that too. Almost all of the class has mastered or reached an advanced level on delays. Andy, however, is still only at the beginner level. With these assessment tools, you can get a visual representation of how your entire class is doing as a whole. To see how one individual student is developing, you can click on a student's name on any of these pages to get a detailed report all in one place. On top of the mastery of concepts and lesson progress, you can see their last login, an activity log, and all the projects they created. And because all of Tinker is browser-based, all of our data is automatically updated in real time, so you can see your students' progress, scores, and mastery right as they go through their activities.